6 o'clock. Well, it is a first alert weather day. First alert chief meteorologist Dave Aguilera keeping a close eye on conditions for us. Yeah, and we have lots of schools and businesses closing for the snow mm -hmm. tomorrow. And uh, yeah. it is on our way out there right now. We're not bad. We had a little sunshine come in this afternoon, uh, but don't let that fool you. We've got round two coming your way tomorrow morning. Our drive right now a lot better than this morning. We had a little bit of snow that came through and really made the road slick this morning. It was very icy out there. Now, as the sun sets now, there might be some icy patches, especially in the neighborhood that you got to watch out for, but it's a big improvement over this morning. I do want to point out that some of the areas of southern Colorado, man, they have got over two feet of snow in places like Beulah, San Isabel down there, 32.3 inches of snow over a foot in the Black Forest, Elizabeth and Genesee as well. And there is more on the way. Southern Colorado, eastern Colorado could have record snowfall amounts as the snow is pushing through. Another wave uh, coming through tonight. And as we look down, that system that we're watching right now spinning right over sections of western New Mexico. As we go into the night tonight, this will become what we call an Albuquerque low as as it moves into Albuquerque, that tends to really dump right into southern Colorado here, and that will happen overnight tonight. That's the map at midnight tonight. We've got a few snow showers uh, around here between 10 and midnight coming through our area, but it's tomorrow morning that things really start to ramp up for us. So this low should move over towards Amarillo, push another big wave in the morning back up against the Front Range foothills here. You can see it really doesn't affect western Colorado much. This is a bona fide upslope snowmaker for us here. By afternoon, still heavy snow just going right into the Front Range and the eastern part of Colorado, as well as the Palmer Divide. Then this low moves into Kansas here and continues to snow on Saturday morning here and really doesn't give up the ghost until Saturday afternoon. It's moving out with still a little bit of snow in the mountains and a little rain over the eastern plains here. Here's what I'm looking at for snowfall now. This will happen tomorrow morning all the way through Saturday morning. Let's start top to bottom here. Wellington, Fort Collins about a half inch to an inch. You get down into the Longmont Boulder area, about three to six inches in that lighter blue. The deep blue Hudson Broomfield into Denver, about eight to 12 inches of snow here. And in the purple shades, over a foot, 15 to 17 in parts of Aurora down through Castle Rock. And then you get down to Monument Hill and then over towards the Lyman area, 12 to 19 inches of snow in some of those areas. And take a look. As a result, we have a winter storm warning that affects all of the Denver metro area back up into the foothills spreading out all the way to the Kansas line. So again during the day tomorrow I suspect uh, I-70 will continue to be closed out that way, maybe all the way through Saturday morning, the way things look right now. So you add uh, up to almost 20 inches on top of what they've already got there, historic snow possible. Then you get down into the San Gabriel Cristos, about one to three feet of snow for some of those areas back into Walsenburg, outside of Trinidad into Springfield, about 15 to 30 inches of snow. And again, that will happen starting tonight into Saturday for those areas down there. Temperature wise, 20s and teens across the state. Highs tomorrow, a lot of 30s and 20s in the east and in the mountains, a little warmer out there on the western slope. So in detail here, here we go, 30 degrees for the high temperature tomorrow. So we will be freezing, which means a lot of sticking to the roadways out there for many locations. 42 on Saturday, first alert weather day, and then Sunday into next week, we finally break out of it and temperatures get back into the 50s by then. So the deal tomorrow, guys, I mm -hmm. think if you if you leave for work like at five o'clock in the morning, um, you'll have some light snow going on. And then okay. sometime between about 730 and nine o'clock, I think it's just going to open up. And then the rest of the day, we're going to have to deal with some pretty heavy snow around here. All right. So don't be lulled into thinking, oh, this yeah. is nothing when you wake up early tomorrow morning. It's coming again. There All right. Go. Dave, thank you so You're much. Welcome. We'll be right back.